Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have not been seen together anywhere in public since August 4 with paparazzi perplexed and palace courtiers giving different locations. But, one thing is known, Meghan is missing in action after she allegedly blasted Harry over Diana's death, telling him, you don't make sense. You'll be shocked by what is causing the former American actress to be so utterly insensitive. The media feeding frenzy surrounding Prince Harry and Meghan Markle is causing a rift between the newlyweds. And, is it any wonder? Married couples all know the first year of marriage can be the hardest, especially when the couple rushes into it. And the intense scrutiny Harry and Meghan have endured along with really not seeing each other at their worst, and it's a recipe for a relationship in turmoil. Prince Harry is discovering Meghan's warped world of celebrity, where she craves the limelight and wants to be the star. Now that the former American actress can no longer be actively publicizing herself and cannot speak out in the press without prior palace approval, she's freaking out. Meghan loved being on social media, but she had to give it up. According to a source close to Markle, the one rule that frustrates the Duchess of Sussex the most is that she can't address all the drama surrounding her dad, Thomas Markle Sr. She doesn't have her own publicist, she can't make any comments on Twitter, and she can't reach out to him to tell him to stop speaking to the press, the source told Us Weekly. Her father's comments have an effect on everything. Royal expert Katie Nichol said, the strategy at Kensington Palace, I understand, is, say nothing, don't dignify these comments, these interviews, these articles with a response. The royal family has had more than their fair share of scandals. This won't phase them. That strategy has Meghan furious. She didn't realize that even though the royal family is extremely famous worldwide and sought out by paparazzi day and night, she is expected to avoid the limelight and she is expected to stay silent unless on official palace events where her comments must be pre-screened. She also didn't realize the extent to which her new husband abhors the press. Royal expert Marlene Koenig points out, at Harry's wedding in May, just one reporter and two photographers were welcomed through the gates, compared with the 28 reporters and 17 photographers the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge had at their 2011 wedding. Koning also says Prince William has a dislike for the ongoing media frenzy, but it has gotten out of control now that Meghan has been playing games and going outside the regular PR channels. For them, this all goes back to Diana and their belief that the press killed her. But the truth is she was killed by a drunk driver and didn't have her seatbelt on, Koenig said. A palace insider told Mad World News that when Harry found out Meghan was going behind his back and using her own sources to leak stories to the press, he was livid. Meghan used the victim card, reminding him how she is relentlessly harassed by racist and sexist trolls on social media and she said she should be able to make her own PR decisions and speak out whenever she wants. Harry felt betrayed, said the Palace Insider, adding, Harry made it clear to her how his mother's death at the hands of the press has affected him, to which Meghan allegedly lashed out, saying, you don't make sense. Meghan's outburst can be chalked up to believing that she is the victim and Harry is not allowing her to control the situation. The former suit star wants total control to plant and leak as many positive stories about herself as she deems necessary. This is what she did as an actress in Hollywood, and it's Meghan's second nature to publicize herself. This alleged blow-up caused the Duchess to flee their summer lodgings with now disputed reports about exactly where she went. Reports Meghan had flown to Canada cannot be confirmed, with conflicting stories emerging all over the internet. Immediately after the big blow-up, an unconfirmed story that the royal couple was on lockdown for three days inside George and Amal Clooney's Italian villa seemed suspect to royal watchers, and no paparazzi pictures of the so-called mini-honeymoon could be found. Prince Harry is finding out his new wife is not adjusting to royal life in the way she promised she would. Instead, she is a 37-year-old former actress who is a publicity hound. And what drew her to the prince in the first place was her big dream of becoming a royal and elevation onto the world stage. Now that Meghan's got exactly what she thought she wanted, she's stifled from being on that world stage 24-7, but she wants to be the star, in control of her own PR. There's a price to pay to be included in the royal family, and the question is, will that price be too high to pay for Meghan Markle? 
to make her marriage last, the Duchess of Sussex must be willing to give up her warped celebrity world and become a loyal servant to the British people.